Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a way of muting a picture, just quietening it down, slowing it, making it a little bit less stimulating, uh, using a three-step method I've also shown in another video for boosting it, for actually raising the energy. So, first step, and there's slight differences to this along the way, it's not exactly the same as the other one, is to get curves. And what we want to do here is to flatten things. You want to sort of make the gradient, the slope across here, less so, particularly in the mid-ranges. I'm going to change the blend mode to luminosity so that it's only the tones which are changed. So we're going to move up this a little bit so the blacks are more grey. Pull down the whites so the whites aren't as white. So we've already reduced the gradient there, which is going to make it more muted. Now to push that in the mid tones, I can take a point down here and push this up a bit and a point down here and pull it down a bit. You can put another point in the middle if you want just to bring this back to the centre but we just want to, with this, completely sort of just mute the whole thing so you can see the way it's across here. Look at the difference before and after, it's just flattened it. We can take the colours out in an extra step, and that is to use the HSL. So the first thing we do here is turn down the saturation to make that a flatter, less stimulating thing. Then we look at individual areas. So this cyan here is, is coming out a little bit. So we'll pick the cyan here, but use the picker on there to just get that a little bit more accurate and pull the saturation down a bit on that. I think the yellow is jumping out too, so I'll click on the yellow one here. Use the picker again and go on to the yellow there. It just shifts that again a little bit and just take the saturation down on that. So there we go. And thirdly is to look at the highlights and shadows, which colour balance gives us a bit more options. And what I'm going to do here is go to the shadows. And for the shadows, just let's try pulling magenta down a bit and then pushing blue up. And what we're going to get is violet. And violet in the shadows can be a little bit, quite a sort of like, you know, it pulls it in a lot more. Then I'm going to go to the highlights and we'll take the cyans down a bit. A little bit more, in fact, you know, a fair amount there, and just boost in the greens. With that, it also, that's just in the highlights, that just kind of like slows the whole thing down. And uh, there we go, that's it. If I shift click this and control G to group it, and then I can say something like muted, and we can see the before. And after it's really pulled things down. It's, it's not made it look weird, but it's just had that effect. So I can hit Control C to copy this and just go to other pictures and drop it in, see what happens. So here, that certainly muted this a bit. What I might want to do with this is with this, bring the blacks back about. Let's pull this back in here. So we're getting the foreground giving it just a little bit more contrast, like help it stand out a bit more from the background. But we could have left it as it is. So we got the before and after, definitely muted. What about the next one? So this is a sunset picture and we drop this in again. And this just pulls the whole thing back, makes it quieter time. And something with a person in and drop that in there. And there, that's definitely pulled that back. The skin tones are still okay. And it's almost made it look a little bit retro, which I think works okay in this picture. But there we go. The key thing to do is curves with this sort of shape. HSL, pulling down the saturation and in selected areas. And then the color balance Play around with the shadows and highlights to see what colours kind of work to make it calm down. That's it and thank you very much for watching.